Hi everyone. I hope you guys are holding up in this covid scenario and the learning should continue like a life continues. So here I'm bringing to you a small trick on how to call another macro from a new file that you're creating right now. As we saw in our other video for macro for beginners part 1, we have created this small macro here, right? So I'm going to show you what macro we have created. I'll add another sheet, sheet 2. I go to view i go to macros and work 1 2 is the macro that we created so i'm going to click on run and it automatically populates these eight figures in these eight cells right this is the macro that we created a very simple macro i'm going to teach you how to call this macro into another fresh workbook without copying the code right there's another code that we'll be creating but we'll not copy the exact code of this macro Okay so let's get on with it I'll go file and I'll open a new file right a blank workbook I've got a blank workbook here with the name of book 1 right I'll go and press alt f11 right it takes me to this code window okay the vba window now do you see vba book 1 I'll go to this workbook it's blank the code that i was seeing was in module 1 of try 1 that was the name of the sheet that we had the original macro in right so we go to this we go to this workbook and here i'm going to type a code for you all right a code to call this macro from another workbook right so of course as we know that each macro starts with the code of sub so i'll type sub and i'm going to name this as say calling a macro right this is be this is going to be the name of this function okay now an important mandate that you guys need to learn for executing this function is that the original file in this case try 1 should be open when you want to call a macro from this file right that's a important mandate while calling a macro So I'm first gonna give you the code for calling, uh, opening the file, right? I have this code written here, so I'll just copy and paste it for now, and I'll explain you how this code works and what all these functions mean. So the first function is workbooks dot open, and there is the path, right? So this is the path to the try one XLSM, right? My current file is stored in this particular path so i'm going to copy this path control c and i'm going to paste it into this code here right till here because file name stays the same i'll just copy and replace the path here put a backslash so what this line will do it will open try1.xlm for me now workbooks book3.xlsm.activate This is the name of the workbook that you want your code to run in, right? So whatever code you're working in currently needs to be activated in order to run this. Okay? So I'm going to name this as current wb.xlsm and this is the name of the macro which needs to be run. how do you identify this name again try one is the sheet we go to macros we go to view macro this is the name for you right this is showing here and calling a macro which is the one that we are currently creating this is the macro name that we want to run work 1 2 okay so here we've typed the name this is the syntax that you guys need to remember we have typed try 1.xlsm Uh, exclamation mark work one two right this is the code now when we press control s i need to save the file in the same name so it should be current wb and save as xlsm i'm going to take it to the same folder that i was working in right don't forget to save as macro enabled workbook guys this step is really important right so I'm just going to correct the spelling here. Yeah. Now it's saved. current wb.xlsm. 
I'm gonna close the macro caller. I'm gonna close all the files rather. Yeah, I'm gonna show you from the start itself. Right, I'm gonna close all the files. Now, when I open current wb.xlsm, that's the only Excel open for me. Right, I need to enable the macro content. And now when I go to view macros, this is my workbook, right? Calling a macro, this, this was the code that I created. I click on run. And on the same grounds, it populates those eight fields here for me. Right? So the macro has worked the same way as it worked for try1.xlsm. I'm going to display the code here for all of you to understand it better. Just remember what these fields represent. This is the path of the file which has the macros originally. I'm going to put a com comment here. Right? Path for the file that has comment that has the macro so this is the path of the file that has the macro name of the file in which you want to call the macro that is the current file that is the new file name exclamation macro for the macro you want to call this step is really important because you have to open the original file that has the original macro stored in it right this of course you can change as per your requirements and i'm going to share this code with you in the description so guys enjoy thanks thanks for watching guys check out the description for further details about our Facebook page, our website, and don't forget to share this useful content with your friends and family. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Uja Mascot Consultancy Hub. If you want to become the part of our WhatsApp group, please mail us on the email ID mentioned in the description. Thanks everyone. Until next time.